Richard Krause. There's a line in the film that that um, I just loved, and I loved your delivery of it. And I just wanted to, to talk about it for a second. Um, you introduce yourself and you say, "I'm Kim Filey. You've heard of me." And yeah. I was just so taken with the way that you said this line. I don't know if there's any more to it than just you sort of reading it on the page and going, this is kind of an incredible thing for one person to say to another person. Uh, but do you have any remembrance of, of your thought process for that particular line? Oh, gee. I don't know. I mean, it seems like something someone would say. I mean, I think... The thing that's easy to forget is that because everyone assumes, you know, Kim was the older one and these are teenage girls and they're so impressionable and he's just manipulating them or whatever. But it's it, for an older man to talk to teenagers, it can be very intimidating. Mm-hmm. I mean, teenagers uh, are, are not actually very uh, mindful or respectful of their elder, elders for the most part, particularly teenagers going to hang out in a, you know, rock and roll club on Sunset Boulevard. Right. So, uh, I mean, it's, um, you need, I think Kim, in order to do what he did, needed to have a lot of confidence and had to exude a lot of confidence in order to get people to, to do what he wanted them to do. But, you know, I think, um, I, 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 I think part of the reason that he's like that he talks that way is um, because he's 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 nervous, you know. Because any time anybody acts like they're in, in control of a situation, you always run the risk of actually not being in control of the situation, being revealed to be you know uh, screwing up or something. Right. So I think a lot of that hubris is uh, to cover cover up. The nervousness, yeah. right? And well, and, and I think you see that in the film definitely. I mean, he he very definitely knows what he wants from them. He knows how to sort of, I guess, train them how to be rock stars. But I'm not sure that once success came, that he really quite knew what to do. And he was perhaps trying to, uh, um, you know, cover up his lack of experience um, with uh, a, a swagger. Well, he's. Uh, I think he's. He's done a lot, though. I, I mean, the thing I've noticed is that he's always changing projects and mm-hmm. changing, working with different artists. I think he gets, um, I think he gets restless uh, pretty easily, um, and um, I think he enjoys. Uh, I think he enjoys people and different people and variety. So I, I, I think that's also a reason. Right, and he needs that to sort of feed his creativity, perhaps, or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, Michael, thank you so much. That's our time. Uh- Richard Krause.